Welcome back, folks, and today we got the very special Turtles of Skull Wave 3. We got four figures to go over. We got Michelangelo, the heroic captain of Kaobunga, Teela, the shell-kicking warrior goddess, Skeletor, the evil samurai of destruction, and Casey Jones, the one-man weapons rack. God damn, that's a strong-ass lineup. So we're going to take a look at the back of the boxes and see what we're working with. And right here, we got some... Beautiful artwork, starting off with Michelangelo fighting against Hordak. On the back of his box it says, Mikey may be a party dude with pizza on his mind, but after hearing about the heroics of He-Man, he has a new purpose. Be the most powerful turtle in the universe. He grabs a blonde wig and begins emulating Eternia's greatest warrior. Okay, uh, interesting backstory. Let's move on to the next one. Right here on this box art, we got Teela getting it in with Mutated Merman. I can't wait to get that figure. And on the back of her box it says, As Eternia's heroes mysteriously disappear, the mighty Teela is the planet's last line of defense. When she meets four brothers that share her warrior spirit, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, now armored to the shell, she is more determined than ever to find the last heroes. Sounds like her ass is ready to get that shit in. Let's move on to Skeletor where you got him getting that shit in with Donatello with the other turtles in the background. Right here at the bottom it says, Time and time again, Skeletor attempted to destroy He-Man and only to fail. Until, that is, the fateful day he crossed paths with the evil alien named Krang. Now, with He-Man out of the way, Skeletor's path to control and the power of Grayskull is finally clear. Sounds like his ass finally got lucky. Let's move on to Casey Jones. You got him fighting Mouse Jaw, whole bunch of mouses. And right here on the back, it says, Back on Earth, Casey Jones fights baddies as a hockey mask vigilante using whatever sports gear he can fit into his bag. Now that he's on Eternia, he loads up on Castle Grayskull's best battle equipment to join the fight against Krang and Skeletor. Well, I'm not sure what a normal human's gonna do against some walked out supervillains, but hey, we're gonna find out, right? Well, let's check out the mini comic, The Spirit of Grayshell. Make a long story short, it starts off talking about how the spark of power was the first power in the universe, and around that became the planet of Eternia, and on that planet, Castle Grayskull was built to protect that power from evil. Now we got the turtles walking up to the castle while the sorceress talks out to them, and they start talking their shit while they walk up in there. After being amazed on how pimped out the castle is inside, they end up seeing Casey Jones just pop out of nowhere and shit. When they asked him what he was doing, he said he was just looking around touching shit that don't belong to him hooking his weapons up but they wanted to find out how his ass got there and basically he told him he stole the turtle van and shit and followed them to shredder's hideout where he ended up seeing a bright light and then bam they ended up waking up in the castle because come to find out his ass wasn't alone and he was with april neil and it was her idea to steal the turtle van in the first place so they ended up popping down there and her ass fell into the pool of power which ended up hooking her ass up with some sorceress type powers so the sorceress ends up telling the turtles to go down to the dwell of souls to go figure out what the fuck they need to do and since He-Man's all walked out from the ooze and shit, they need to find the sword of power that he threw before he ended up getting like that. And unfortunately, the sorceress can't use her powers to find out where that shit is. So they all get there to the Dwell of Souls and start meditating and shit. And then all of a sudden, some type of spirit starts popping out and April starts freaking the fuck out. So Raphael pulls her ass out of the sky and come to find out it was Splinter all along. He ended up being combined with the spirit of Grey Skull, so now they call his ass Splinter Skull. And he basically helps guide the turtles to where to find the sword of power at this forbidden island so they end up getting there to go get the sword but come to find out mutated merman is up in their way blocking that shit so they end up knocking his silly ass out and right before they could grab the sword of power skeletor and mutated he-man show up so skeletor tells he-man to be a good dog and fetch that shit and while he's jumping at the sword leonardo jumps at the sword at the same time and bam all the good guys end up appearing at the dweller of souls again and he-man's ass ended up turning back to normal what the fuck was that shit right there that shit was too long for me it was a good story, but it felt like forever. Now it's time to pop these bitches open, and there it is, folks. We got all four figures out of the package, and my first initial thoughts, these motherfuckers, they look good. They look damn good. Oh, I'm so glad that they just gave us all four at once to be able to look at them all, and these waves, they just keep getting better and better. But the first figure we gonna start off with is this Michelangelo figure. With the crazy ass hairstyle on his head. And booyah, there he is. Starting off at the bottom of his feet. I love the way that shit looks with the feet popping out. The color of his skin is a perfect color for Michelangelo. That belt with the turtle shell on it looks good. The nunchucks is on point. I'm glad they gave him with the chain that bends around. Just like Slamurai Ninja. And then right there, that strap with the M on the chest. 
That shit is looking legit. I'm loving them shoulder pads with the shell right there. And the overall color choices that they put on this figure looks damn good. That other shoulder pad, nice and bulky. And then that fucking face. That hairstyle. At first, with the initial pictures, that shit looks silly. And I'm thinking, well, what the fuck is they doing? But after looking at it and having it in hand, it's growing on me. I kind of like it. Let's turn it around from the back. Start off at the bottom, you can see it's got that loincloth covering up that turtle booty. And then working up with that shell right there. That shell looks good. Oh, I love the way that shell looks. A nice spot to put the nunchucks. I'm so glad they made his wrist gauntlets orange just to keep the color scheme going. And then that hairstyle. That's a lot of hair on that head. That's a big ass wig. He must have took a mop and shit or something to cover that big ass turtle dome. But the shit looks good from the back. They did a great job overall. I'm really loving this figure. This might be my favorite one so far out of all four turtles comparing the hairstyle to regular He-Man's hair. They did what they could. You know what I'm saying? The color is damn near the same. But I want to try something real quick. And right there, I had to put that hair on He-Man's head just to see how this shit look. Just to see how much bigger that hair is compared to his head. And that motherfucker got a big ass head. But that head sculpt on him, that shit looks perfect. That is a great head for that Michelangelo figure. I'm loving the teeth all out and shit. The eyes all bugged out. Definitely impressed with it. Right there with the armor on He-Man. I like the way that shit looks. He had the Brody his ass for it. Had to check out how everything looks. And I can see He-Man rocking this shit. They did a little trade-off and he let him try that everlasting liquor. And I think Michelangelo might be able to take it. But Jay, I'm really liking that armor on He-Man. If he's ever got to go to battle, he's got that shit to wear. Right here, I had to try the wig on one of the figures in Raphael. That shit looks better on him. He looks a little pissed. He's like, why the fuck y'all put this hair on me and shit? This shit don't look right on me. I had to take his armor to put it on. But all in all, with all four turtles standing there, I love how each one is a different color. I was definitely impressed with Michelangelo, but now it's time to move on to this Skeletor. And look at his ass. There it is, folks. Starting off, they gave them big ass shin guards like the Snake Armor Skeletor. But in silver, that shit looks good. And then moving our way up, that armor. Oh my God. That neon green color. And then that right there. That might be my favorite piece out of all these figures. The ooze, I actually got a canister of ooze his ass can hold. Moving up to them gauntlets, that shit looks good. The chest straps look great. The cape, I kind of wish they would have gave his ass a cloth cape. I don't understand why they couldn't, but that fucking face looks great. They got the skull right there on the top. And then them nunchuck type weapons. Oh, that shit looks good. They nailed it with his ass. Great job overall. Looking at the back. Yeah, I wish that cape would have been a cloth cape. I mean, it does look good like that. You see all the little details, yada, yada. But come on now, Mattel, stop being cheap with it. Give us that cloth cape. That helmet, oh, that shit looks so good. All the little details, little rippets and shit. And this head right here, look, when you take the cape off, he does that, oh, no, you did it. Oh, no, you didn't just take that cape off me type shit. With that neck moving back and forth, that shit looks crazy. But right here, I had to try this shit on He-Man. And He-Man rocks that shit. This ass looks damn good in the black and neon green. I think I might have to rock this sometimes. Now, the cape on him, even though it ain't, you know what I'm saying, cloth, it's looking good. Overall, I like it. And overall, Skeletor's sorry as fuck. Cause this ass got Brody, he's out there standing butt ass naked. Right here I had to take the cape off just so I could fully see them shoulders and shit. And yeah, that shit looks damn good. You see He-Man, me mugging Skeletor and shit, that shit looks funny. One of the special features with Skeletor's armor is it has the two holes in the back. So your ass could add any turtle shell in the line right up on that shit. Right here from the front. That shit looks pretty good, I can still see the turtle shell. And then right there with the turtle shell underneath the cape. That makes Skeletor look sad. His ass can't turn his head all the way up. He just looks salty out it. It's just a shame. So I wasn't rocking like that. All in all, I love the way Skeletor looks. But it's time to move on to the Turtles of Grayskull Teela. And right here, sawing off the bottom, they had to give her ass that old Teela buck. But the belt on that shit looks good. I'm loving the chains with the green color on there. That shit looks good. And then they end up giving her them little shells with the little sword or whatever knife right there tied on the side little makeshift shit 
It looks all right. And then that big ass Raphael weapon in her hand. That's just too big for her ass. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that chest piece right there. It is what it is. And then that fucking face. Yeah. That's that Tila face. I still like the cartoon version better. Now her helmet there is looking pretty fucking sharp. I like that shit. But let's take a look at the back. Same normal Tila boots. But then she got that big ass shell all up on her back. Looks like the same shells, kind of like how our man at arms got his shit. Then she got the hair right there sticking out the top of the helmet. With the spikes on that shit, it looks good. Something different. I'm glad they hooked the ass up. He man's trying to bust it up with it, throw his bid down and shit. But I want to try some real quick right here. I had to strip her ass down and put her ass naked. She got all the silver. Well, what is they doing? What the fuck? Apparently, He-Man couldn't keep his hands to himself. But as I was saying, they gave her that standard Tila body. They just left it colorless, but just colored and everything else silver. And then right there, that shit looks good on her ass. Look at that shit, folks. All the armor was easily able to just put it on her body. I wish they would have gave her that buck. It's just a little bit different. Gives a little bit more shape. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more junk in the trunk. And right there, you, you can't see all the junk in the trunk. But that shit is there behind that shell. And he man, <laughs> he man picks who he wants. He likes that Phil Mason Teela all day. All in all, I'm glad they added another female figure in the Turtles of Grayskull line. And now it's time to move on to Casey Jones, this motherfucker right here. Your ass definitely get your money's worth for him. I'm loving the two-tone in the bootstraps and the palace guard leg armor looks good. Working our way up to that belt with all them extra straps and shit on there, that shit looks real good. That extra weapon right there looks like Krang's weapon. How can I plug into the wrists and shit? And then that slap a bitch hand right there. Mega slap a bitch hand. He's standing on business right here, folks. That mask looks so good. That fucking mask. Oh my God. The eyes, you can see them perfectly. They did a great job. I wish it would have been more of a hockey mask, but you know they had to go with that Ram Man type of look and shit. Right there on the back. You can see them two-tone boots a lot better. He's got them Eagles colors and shit. This shit's looking fly. And then right there, that big-ass mighty backpack. All them weapons, that fucking thief. He stole all that shit from the castle. Moving down, we see the other side of his pimp hand and shit. And let me tell you, that pimp hand is strong as shit. I wouldn't want to be slapped by that shit, I'll tell you that much. All them weapons, we're going to go over all them weapons in a minute. Overall, his ass looks good. But right there, folks... All that shit for the same normal price. Oh my goodness. Starting off with that hockey stick right there. He had the augmented. Hooked that shit up with some spikes and shit. Then he got that crank axe right there. Followed by that big ass Megaton Triple H hammer. I haven't seen that shit since the Masters of WWE. He got the spear. He got the sword. And he got the pimp hand which is strong as shit. He got the infinity gauntlet folks. And look at that fucking face. This normal looking motherfucker right here. His ass is a human. He got that big ass bags and shit. They did a good job on the face. Okay? But then right there, I had to put the mask on. He man, he looks bad as shit. But I, I just something's bothering me. Casey Jones is not a master of the universe. He shouldn't be built like that. There ain't no way in hell his ass is built like He Man. Look at this shit. He man had to go back to Prince Adam on his ass. He had to check him. Then look. You ass ain't strong like me. You can't be no normal looking motherfucker with muscles like that. I don't agree with it, but hey, that's just in line with the figures. His hat should have been a little bit skinnier like Tila. Right there, his ass got Brody. Now he man is standing on business. He got all that shit in his hand. The big ass hockey stick. He got the pimp hand strong as fuck. Infinity gauntlet style. I like the way that shit looks. You know what I'm saying? I want to put them stinky ass socks on him. I like it with He-Man's boots. All in all, that shit looks fly. That figure right there, definitely worth it for your money. You get all them weapons, but the line overall, god damn, they did a great job, Mattel. Great shit on these figures. If I had to rank these bitches, I'd say Tila, she's going to be last. Just because, you know what I'm saying, there's far more better figures in this line right here that I'm fucking with. Let me see who would be next. Oh, it's a hard decision, folks. I don't know. Uh, Skeletor? Yeah, probably Skeletor. And then let me see. Between Mikey and uh, 
Casey Jones, that's a hard decision, but it's going to be Mikey's ass. And then Casey Jones, because you get all them weapons for the same price as a standard figure. You can't beat that all day. Even He-Man knows that shit. That is a great deal. But overall, this line in general is headed in the right direction. I cannot wait to see Wave 4 on top of the deluxe figures they got coming. For those of y'all that was on the fence about this shit, this line is worth it all day. I ain't lying. Thanks for watching, folks. And if you like what you saw, do my ass a favor and drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. It ain't gonna hurt you, is it? Come on now. Go ahead and hit the button. I know you have to hit the button. Hit that goddamn button. Drop a like. All right, I'm out of here.